Hi, it's Debbie Kaler with Lake Siri Realty and Debbie Kaler Real Estate. And today I'm visiting with Michelle Goltz, who is a mortgage lender at Concord Bank in Wilmer. When it comes time to get financing for your home, it can be really confusing and overwhelming with all the different types of loans out there. So Michelle is kind enough to talk to us today and just shed a little light on conventional financing and what that's all about. So Michelle, what is a conventional loan? Conventional loans are for borrowers who don't require or don't qualify for the benefits of a government loan product like RD or FHA. Applicants need to have established credit history with good credit scores and documentable income and employment history. A down payment of some kind is required for conventional purchase transactions and typically property requirements for conventional loans are a little bit more relaxed than they are for government loans. Okay, I've always thought you needed 20% down, is that true? No, you don't need to have 20% down payment to purchase a home on a conventional loan. You can actually have as little as 3% down payment to purchase a home. So what if you don't have the 20%? If you don't have the 20% down payment, uh, mortgage insurance is available for borrowers with acceptable credit, employment, and income. You'll need to pay monthly mortgage insurance premiums until your loan balance reaches that 80% loan to value. Um, mortgage insurance premiums differ based on credit scores and based on the total loan to value. So for instance, if you have a credit score that's less than 740 and you're only putting 5% down on the purchase, you would pay more for mortgage insurance than if your credit score was over 740 and you had 15% down. Okay, and what about gift funds? Um, gift funds are allowable for conventional loans and different from government loans. You can have your entire down payment and all funds that are necessary to complete the transaction come from gift funds. There's no minimum borrower contribution required. And I know one thing that people struggle with, especially first time home buyers, or well, pretty much anybody now because it's, things are so expensive and people can't come up with the money for closing costs. Can you finance your closing costs? Yes, the borrower can ask the seller and the seller can agree to pay closing costs, which basically is financing those closing costs on your loan. Um, borrowers' uh, closing costs that are paid by the seller is limited to 3% to 6% depending on the down payment that they put down. Okay, and how about um, getting a co-signer? Conventional loans don't allow non-occupying co-signers. So if the person isn't going to live in the house as their primary residence, they cannot co-sign on the loan. Um, you can apply jointly with another applicant for a home loan, but that other applicant has to be planning to live in the house as their primary residence as well. Okay. And now there's it seems to be a lot of foreclosures and short sales. How does that work with the conventional loan? Um, the answer to that question really depends on the individual property. Um, if the property is in good shape, they should be able to finance it using conventional financing. Sometimes homes are damaged or uh, things have been stripped from the house that make it difficult to get the appraisal to come out okay to get the financing as a conventional loan. Okay, um, and interest rates seem to be quite low right now. Can you talk about that a little bit? Interest rates are still at an all-time low. Right now is a great time to buy a house. Uh, you can get locked into a permanent loan with a low rate, which will make your house payments more affordable for the long haul. Um, and right now, with low interest rates, it means you can afford more house than you would be able to if interest rates were higher. Okay. So before you come and see me to start looking for a property, you need to come in and talk to Michelle and see what type of loan is going to fit you the best. She's the gal to do it, and you're located where? We are located at 1102 South 1st Street in Wilmer, just a block north of Waltz. And the telephone number here at the bank is 320-222-6111. And just to mention, in addition to conventional loans, Concord Bank does offer rural development loans, FHA loans, VA loans, and we also are able to offer many in-house products like, uh, like construction loans or bridge loans or um, in-house more temporary kind of financing for those people that don't fit the mold for conventional secondary market loans. So pretty much if there's a way to get it done, Michelle's going to find a way to do it. So come in and talk to Michelle. And thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Debbie.